Now dig submit URL. And there's their link. No style. And I see they have buttons. So we'll make an images folder. Okay, so Reddit must have buttons somewhere too. There we go. And this one looks fine. Okay, last up is Twitter. No count. We'll add the title later. And we'll add the address later. And there's the code. So each of these needs the post title and a post address, and they need to be in URL format. So we'll get them both. and fill them in. Address, title, now ah, we need to add in those images. There's the Reddit button. And now we do the same for dig. So there's the address. Title. And button. And once more, address, title, and Twitter already has a button. Okay, the last part of the post is the comments. They're optional. and we'll just mimic the post format. We'll have a container. There's an anchor so you can jump right to the comments. Now for each comment in the post, ordered by date, Show the comment, including the comment name, comment body, and comment time. If the comment has an email address, We'll link the name to the email.
Otherwise, just put the name. We'll say the name said. Then the body of what they said. So we need this to be in HTML. and turn new lines into line breaks. And we don't encode the line breaks. OK, now for the time. and the date. And I guess we need a place to actually submit the comments. So we'll ask for comments. and then make a form to create one. This goes to the comment action. Ask for a name. email, and a big one for the comment body. Let them submit. And we're done. OK, now we can use this helper from our index view. Now oh, we need that is admin flag. Get it. And default to false. And let's see. OK, there's our posts. Try a button. And yep, there's the link we wanted to submit. OK, so the post view referred to a few actions that we haven't implemented yet. Let's take a look at what they are. There's details, details, tags, and comment. OK, let's start with details. New action, details of a post. We get the post, set the admin flag, and view the single post. Now we need a view to view this one post. Looks good. So this view is just one post. We'll get that admin flag. And just use the post helper to render it all.
Good. So now we can go back here and click a post. And there's the detailed view. Next on our list was the comment action. So first off, we'll ignore dangerous input, as we'll handle that ourselves. Then to comment on a post, we need the post ID, a name, email, and body. We get the post, and make a new comment. Point the comment at the post, and fill out the properties. There's time, name, email, and the comment. We'll add this comment, and save it. And we'll just go back to the post when we're done. Okay, let's try adding a comment. There's our comment with a link to the email. And here's another comment. And no link because we didn't use an email address. That's good. The last action was the tags action. We'll get the tag and pass along the admin flag. And we already have a view that views a list of posts, so we'll just use that. And let's try it. Tag 10, just post 10, tag even, and there's two four, six, eight, and ten. Good. Tag odd. Pretty much what you'd expect. Okay. So that's all of the actions we had to implement. Let's add the administrator actions. If we're an administrator, show the control panel. There'll be a link to delete a post. And a link to edit the post. Administrators can also delete comments 